Look for the end zone. Touchdown! And the left jab. Takes the shot. Access 7 Sports. For all of your local sports, tune to Access 7. Well, um, I just first off would like to thank um, Todd Lombard, especially um, Anthony Marquardt and the ownership group of Queen City Sports Entertainment. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a humbling honor to uh, accept this position uh, with an organization that is really uh, turning uh, the sport and entertainment scene in Regina upside down. Uh, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out that they have done a great job bringing tremendous hockey people here and bringing the pride back uh, that the Regina Pats uh, deserve. Uh, we were joking when I came in today, uh, I uh, worked here as a student uh, in the mid 80s for a few years uh, under the Bob Strum regime and uh, worked for a guy named Stu McDonald who has uh, made a name for himself in the NHL with the Edmonton Oilers and certainly appreciated everything he taught me. and. I laughed walking up to the door today because things don't change in 30 years. The left door was open, so on the outside of the building. So uh, I'm really excited. Um, we've got a great uh, group of people here that I can't wait to, uh, to join later this month uh, to learn and to lend my experience and, and the skills that I have to uh, improve and, and, and create as much success as we're having uh, on the ice. What kind of growth? Stacey, do you envision for the organization? Where, where can you take these guys? Well, I, you know, I think I'm not going to put anything like that out there. Um, it's a great organization, great people, and uh, I just want to lend my talents to that, and growth will happen. Um, we got good people, and, and I'm just excited to join the team. In terms of uh, bids for the upcoming Memorial Cup, or the next one, are you going to have any, uh, any say in that? And well, I'd like to defer that one over to Todd if I can. Uh, you know, I'm excited. Boy, uh, can you imagine if we get an event like that? Um, it'll be monumental for the city. But, uh, you know, if we get it soon, what a great way to celebrate 100 years. Um, that's the coolest part about this for me. Is this is the most storied uh, hockey franchise, I would say, and I'm a Leaf fan, so people are going to pick, pick on me for that one. But... No, it is the uh, most storied hockey franchise, I believe, in Canada and in North America. So uh, getting something like that in our 100th year would be phenomenal. If not, it's still going to be a tremendous year. How much does your experience you know, with the Pats previously and then with the Riders, do you think you know, that, that sport background, how will it benefit you here? You well, you know, um, and I've thought a lot about that. I've been out of uh, the sport marketing side since uh, 2001 when I left the Riders. But... A lot of that doesn't change and I've stayed involved uh, being a member of the Rough Rider alumni organization and, and working on some of their projects but watching from afar. Uh, I think it's, it's exciting for me because it's coming back to, uh, to the passion that I have. So passion is one thing I'm going to bring to the table uh, for this property and, and for sport in general. So. You know, again, I got a lot of experience outside of that. So, again, just happy to be a part of the team and to lend my experience to uh, a great group of people. Do you think that it's good timing considering how well this team is playing this year? Hey, it uh, looks pretty good jumping on board a winning team, doesn't it? A uh, few of the years, uh, back to Phil's question, uh, quality products are what people want to come and see. And that's to me, is the most attractive thing about what the ownership group have done here. They focus their attention on the right things first, and that's bringing great hockey people here and creating a great hockey product. And this is a great team, and it's leading the country. So when you have that, everything else can transcend and take advantage of that. And uh, it'll be nice. A lot of the years that I spent with the riders were pretty tough. <laughs> it was pretty lean. Uh, we had lots of great people that worked hard, but we didn't have uh, the financial strength that that organization has now. And, uh, coming to an organization that has that means a lot, and it's going to give us uh, a huge chance for success. I think the hiring Stacy with his background, not only in sports, but also in business, is, is really big for us. He's, he's a local person. He's connected to the community. Uh, so I think going forward, he's going to bring a lot to the table. He'd bring uh, 
bring culture from his previous employer, uh, Rolco Radio is a great company. I, I know that, and he'll bring he'll bring that uh, that culture with him from there, which will be really great for our organization as well. Where are you guys at in terms of uh, the bid for the Memorial Cup? Well, the bid presentation for the Memorial Cup is on uh, February 25th in Toronto. All three teams will have a chance to bid at that or to present at that time, and then we'll be notified sometime after that if we've if we've received the bid. Does this hiring of Stacy help that bid? Does he have any impact in terms of the Memorial Cup? Well, I think for the most part, uh, the bid presentation is ready to go. We have our team in place that's going to do the presentation, but certainly Stacy's experience in sport, uh, his experience in business is going to help. Hopefully when we get the bid, because there's going to be a lot of work to do after that, uh, everything from figuring out our seating and our ticketing all the way through to the to the celebration that we're going to be hosting here around the Memorial Cup. So his uh, his ability on the ground with our with our club will really help in that area.